Okay, hi Ginny's and welcome to the swim skills video this week. So we're going to go back to week one of the skills we learnt as far as breaststroke and we're going to add in more to do with the timing and also going to look at the importance of the timing in relation to how the legs recover and how we keep that recovery underneath the water. So there will be several different videos so we're going to take, take all the video from week one and we're going to add on the bits from this week. So specifically looking at again that balance with the swim and how we tilt up and down. Okay, so we're lying down on the chair. The stronger your tummy muscles are, the flatter you're going to get. Starting in the glide position. As our hands come round, our chin comes out for a breath. Heels have come up to recover. As our heels fly back, our hands fire forward. You can see that there. Super. So it's pull, breathe, kick and glide. Pull, breathe, kick and glide. Okay, so also now what you can do is you can also position yourself so a little bit further back on the chair so you have a bit of a tilt. So this is something with breaststroke. So as you recover with your legs and you come up to breathe, you need your body to be slightly tilted so that your legs don't come out in the water. So we'll talk about that towards the end in drill four. I'll show you some cushion to use. Again, the stronger your tummy muscles are, the less you're likely to rock about. I obviously need to work on my core. So taking a front view now, Again, because it's an above angle, you can really see uh, my feet. So you would hopefully you wouldn't really see them. They'd be coming out of the water if we were in the pool right now. But you can see the dorsiflexes of my feet. Got a little wedge kick going on there with my knees. Isabel's laying in the glide position at the moment. So her head's down on the mat, nose on the mat. Her feet are on the If you've got a bit of screw kick in your kick, so instead of being a mirror going down the centre line, you're actually taking your knees or your feet over to one side of your body. You can actually lie in the bath if you're short enough and squeak your toes down the sides. That'll make you get those dorsiflex feet and it also make you aware that you're turning them both out in the opposite direction to each other. So if you're small enough or have a larger body of water, you can practice your timing of your breathing in relation to your arms. So as you, your chin wants to be coming out of the water as you start in your stroke or as you're cutting your pizza, so your mouth is out at the right time. And then your head should be back in, blowing bubbles to cool your pizza as you're cutting it, i.e. as you're pushing and propelled into that glide position by your legs. Try not to push off the bath floor, but it is very tempting. So as you'll have noticed with a lot of the videos, especially the land drills, your bodies are staying quite flat. So in front crawl, we twist our body, and the same in back crawl. In breaststroke and butterfly, we actually tilt our body ever slightly. Now that's so that when we, our head comes up for a breath, we can get our chin out of the water, but it also means as our legs recover, particularly in breaststroke, they're recovering underneath the water, okay? Which is important, because if, if bodies are flat, our heels are gonna come up, 
and out and out the water and then they're going to whip on the top of the water which is no good we're going to lose all that propulsion so our bodies need to tip so i've built a stack of three pillows all right it should give us enough tilt for me to be able to keep those legs in the water so my belly button just on those cushions there all right so as i bring my chin out my knees are coming my, sorry my heels are coming up to make that recovery so my feet have gone dorsiflex now you'll notice that my knees aren't coming up to my tummy it's my heels that are coming to my bottom and that's important because if we bring our knees up towards our tummy we create a lot of drag in the water and we just stall all right give we keep wanted to keep nice and flat okay and make sure our heels are in that water as well with that small tint which is why is the timing that we have it as as important as it is So we're going to show that again. Round, chin out, recovery up and down. Now some of you might whip so the knee is fixed and some of you might do a real wedge kick where the knees come out. Either one is fine. In squad you're more likely to be showing the whip kick now. For the wedge kick fighting it's not affecting your knees or your hips is fine as well it'll always be down to how you're taught okay well i hope you've enjoyed those and i hope we'll be able to get back to the pool soon keep looking back through the videos and practicing land drills because i'm sure they will help particularly with the timing of things for when you come back it's good to sort of stop and just look and understand sometimes at the pool side we can go through doors and we can explain and explain but until you actually stop moving and fighting to keep yourself on the top of the water Practicing the land drills can really just help you to think about how the time should work with some of the strokes. So please look through, have some fun, and we'll hopefully see you all soon.